Hi. I'm sitting here wondering what I can talk about as regards retirement. I've put out a few videos on it so far and have had good responses from people who are about to retire or have been retired for a short time. In all of these videos I've mentioned that I've been retired now for 28 years, taking voluntary redundancy at 59 and I'm now 87. When we retire, it's like, almost like in some ways being reborn again. We have to take on a new lifestyle. We're leaving something behind. Sometimes we're glad to leave it, other times reluctant, other times really almost in despair. And yet, when we think about it, we might have 20, 30 years ahead of us. And these are the years, in many ways, that we've daydreamed about over time. Sometimes they've been wonderful daydreams. We're going to travel the world. We're going to become grey nomads and live out of a caravan. We're going to be able to do all the things we want to do. Assuming we can afford it. And that's another aspect we start thinking about. Can I afford it? You probably can. If you're an average person with, say, 40, 45 years of living, working, and saving, paying off debts, paying off a house maybe. If you've got those things, you've got the house, no big debts, got your health, then retirement can be very good. Once you get over the psychological hurdles, you are no longer that person you identified with, that role, whatever that role might have been. That's gone now. You might have said, I'm an electrician. I go around the houses fixing lights and putting in PowerPoints. Not anymore. You're not an electrician. You never were. That was just a role. The thing is we identify with our roles so strongly that when we have to leave them, it's almost like a bereavement. This is especially so in some occupations. For example, a professional flyer, airline pilot, works his way to the top, the very top of the tree. Now flying the biggest aeroplanes, suddenly retired. Or a ship's captain, or any captain of industry. Once you're outside, people think, to themselves, the people retiring, I'm a nobody now. I've lost my power. I've lost my prestige. If you start thinking that way, you're just going to start grieving, feeling sad. On the other hand, if you think, well, those are the adventures that I can talk about. Those are the things I can write about. Those are the things I can lecture about to groups. It puts a different spin on it. You are now a master of something. A master of knowledge in a certain area. You are required. You might become a speaker. You might become a professional speaker. Go on the circuit. Earn big money doing what you love. Talking about what you used to do. Helping others who might be coming up through those particular careers you can help them with. It's pretty good to be able to help people. It gives you a good feeling, a feeling of purposefulness. You're no longer just a burden on someone. Nobody likes to be a burden on anyone. Sometimes that role is thrust upon us if we're incapacitated in some way. 
If we're not, then we can help other people. There's a lot of joy in that. The other thing is, when we leave our occupation, whatever it might be, there could be a certain amount of loneliness. I'm now on my own, except for the wife, and wife. the kids have gone, the grandkids aren't with us. I'm a great grandparent. I have a great granddaughter, not just grandkids. And I can tell you, when you first get out of your job, you lose all those workmates, those colleagues, those people you used to talk about, banter about over the coffee urn, so to speak. That's all gone now. And you could become very lonely. Some people like to be solo at certain times in their life so they can do things, think, write, create. I'm that sort of person. On the other hand, I'm also gregarious. I like to get out and mix. So I'm fortunate in that way, being, I would say, an all-rounder. If you are lonely, there are many steps you can take. There are hundreds of organisations swarming with retirees just like you. Just like you. When I say just like you, what do I mean by that? They're not, if you were a CEO, they're not all CEOs. Nobody cares what you did once you're into mingling with that group. They don't care whether you, you, you were the managing director of Blue Scope Steel or whether you were the cleaner at the local school. You're just known by your first name and people judge you by the way you behave, your character. So it's easy to find friends. And you probably won't be shy, but the time you retire, you've got over the most of your shyness. So I'm just speaking off the top of my head here, ideas on retirement. They can be the best years of your life. I think they have been with me. And remember, when you retire, it takes you a while to find out the things you really want to do. And even those things that you really want to do evolve over time. They change. It's the nature of human beings to change. The general interest might be the same. The specific interest within that field might change gradually as you grow older. Look forward to your retirement. They really can be the best years of our lives.